many people think that tasting coffee is such an intimidating process. However, I'd like to share with you my thought process so that you can do it at home as you sample our coffees and make thoughtful choices for your morning fuel. The most important thing to remember is that coffee tasting is always subjective. While we might have a process to calibrate coffee graders and judges, we still need to come together regularly to establish a baseline because otherwise everybody would use different terms to describe the same things. However you perceive coffee is entirely valid and up to you to decide. There are no wrong answers, so please don't be intimidated. And the next time you drink coffee, consider the following. One, how does it smell? Most of the coffee tasting experience actually comes from aroma. So when you open up that bag of coffee or freshly grind your beans, have a good long whiff and think about what you smell. If it's just coffee, that's okay. But often you will also begin to notice chocolate, fruit, and nuts. Two, how does it taste? After you've prepared your coffee, give it some time to cool. Our tongues can't taste properly when it's too hot. So if you really want to know how the beverage tastes, leave it for 10 to 15 minutes and then give it a sip. As a fun experiment, I recommend you sip it freshly brewed at the 15 minute mark and again when it's cooled down so you can understand how the temperature affects the perception. When we talk about flavor notes, more often than not, we're drawing connections. At the end of the day, coffee will taste like coffee, but there is enough difference between styles and origins where we can pick up on flavors that remind us of things we've had in the past. A coffee that has chocolate notes will never taste like drinking a hot cocoa, but it will interact with our taste buds in a way that reminds us of chocolate, and so on for just about every flavor note that you see on a coffee label. Three, consider the body. The body or mouthfeel of a coffee has a big impact on how we perceive it as well. The heavier the body, the more it lingers and the stronger its aftertaste. Think about how your experience might differ between drinking water and drinking oil. There is a clear difference in texture that everybody has a subjective preference for. 